What's up YouTube, you're watching Super Tejito. Welcome back to the channel, we're of course playing Dokkan Battle. Uh, you probably might not be able to even see the phone screen from here, because you'll notice there's a bit of a distance. I've changed up the setup a little bit, we've even got ourselves a uh, Super Vegito over here. SH figure arts, I've had him for actually quite a little while, but uh, you won't necessarily have known that. But anyway, yeah, so we've uh, changed the setup a little bit, just to see how this looks. You know, this feels a little bit more professional, for myself at least. Um, let me know what you guys think, I guess. So uh, today, um, obviously, we've done the the Rage Trunks event and the uh, Fusion Zamasu Doken events, but we're actually going to go back to the Rage Tra um Sorry, excuse me, uh, the Rage Trunks event today, because I now have my um, Max Super Attack and uh, Doken Awakened um, Fusion Zamasu now, so we can actually like you know test him out. I can show you guys what he does in terms of how freaking hard he hits because um, it's insane it's, it's seriously he hits so hard um, of course like for this event he does more damage when he's linked with um, when he's linked with like Goku Black or or Rose Goku Black because of the whole dismal future link but besides that he does crazy good damage anyway and I've got a couple of um, a couple of dupes into him so he does additional damage anyway like um, uh, with the criticals and stuff so and uh, additional attacks as well so to be honest he just hits like a truck as well as uh, the Goku Black does so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and find a decent Goku Black friend that previous one was quite decent um, but I know that there's some better ones on here I just need to find them that's not one of them that isn't one either um, don't really want to be too long searching for a friend um, I mean, I think this is the same guy, but it might be the only one. You know, for time's sake, we'll take him now. Um, not that he's bad, but like I know there's a bet. There's one with like 1500 attack. I've got um, and not 1500. Sorry, uh, 15,000 HP and like 14,000 attack. I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so um, you'll see, obviously, got the team. We've got the mo uh, Fusion Zamasu. Um, I can quickly show you. He's obviously not max level. He's 108. Um, but he's max super attack. And he's also uh, got 11 crit chance. Um, and is that 6 additional? Yeah, 6 additional. So, uh, so yeah, he's pretty beefy. Obviously, got Janemba, got Golden Freezer. Uh, we've got Buhan, which has got a couple of uh, dupes. So he's got crits as well. Uh, you've got Omega Shenron. He can do crits as well. And you've also got, uh, instead of Goku Black, which I used in the previous version of this, like previous time I ran this event, I've got um, Broly here instead. Uh, purely because, well, I've got him level attack 5, and that's literally using STR, like legendary Super Saiyan Broly, so I pulled in other events. Um, or not other events, other banners, like the ticket banner, I pulled quite a lot. I don't know if you guys remember that, I pulled quite a lot of them in that, as well as I pulled a good few of them, as well as the physical version of this guy, um, for dupes. I pulled quite a lot of them in the the rose banner so yeah um so he's actually not maxed out in the dupe system but he's got all four potential paths unlocked so he has the potential to be quite good and when he crits he does do a lot of damage as well as he does like pretty much a guaranteed two super attacks every turn like you know every turn he's on the board or like active i guess um so yeah so obviously we've done this event already like i said we're just we're sort of going through it with sort of um not like a maximum team because a maximum team would probably see me have my own rose as well as the regular goku black on this team and i don't have my own rose and my regular goku black isn't super attack 10 he's like three or four he's also um undoken so he takes a lot of damage he's not even z awakened in fact so he takes a lot of damage um when he gets hit and he doesn't really deal much back to them all he does is supply links um, and it's almost better to have a unit that can defend a bit better uh, and hit a bit harder instead of that also another reason I'm bringing Broly is because when I can link him with Rosé Rosé gets another 10% obviously for the Super Saiyan link so that's that's quite cool when I can link that you know Rosé does even more damage um, and he does a crazy amount in the first place so uh, so yeah so the check. Obviously, I got because I've moved all the setup and everything. The computer is a bit further away now, so uh, I just want to quickly check it is actually recording, and it does look like it is. So we're good to go. So, um, I mean, that's 
pretty much pretty much a great setup. Uh, we'll just stick to it, I guess. Um, I want to sort of just defend really until um, until sort of my main hitters come round, you know, Fusions of Masu and and Goku Black. So yeah, just sort of you know not really taking any damage from Trunks at all because I've got my two basically my two blockers on the team. I've got in my first turn, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Broly here with his. If he can get a crit, he can do good damage. Maybe not. Oh, but he is getting a third super attack, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> if that could have been a crit, that would have been awesome. I think that was three. I, I might be wrong. I, I'm pretty sure that was three super attacks. I might have uh, seen it wrong, maybe. I'm fairly sure it was, though. <clears throat> so the only. One of the problems I find with this team actually is um, obviously the best link that most units I think the only units that don't have it on this current team are Golden Freezer and um, and Broly. They're the only two guys on this team that don't have the Big Bad Bosses link um, which is good and bad because it means you don't have to worry about lowering your... obviously Golden Freezer wants to have HP above 50% for his passive to kick in like it just has now but at the same time, um, you actually, you want to have, is it less than 80%? I think it's less than 80% HP. Uh, I always forget about this link because I don't, I don't, oh, that's the wrong one. I don't really use it that much. Yeah, below 80% 80, 80 or below HP and um, and they get like, they, they, you see there, an attack and defense buff of 25%, which is really, really good. But it means you have to have like lower HP than you would possibly want most of the time. So it can be a hard balance to get, and of course, Buhan, like every turn, pretty much, is um, is healing. So you run the sort of risk of not actually, um, of not actually being able to get the link off because all your characters are like, uh, not all of them, but obviously Buhan's every third turn at least, he's healing, as well as Golden Freezer stopping you from taking much damage. Janemba's doing the same thing, and if you're collecting orbs for them, you're Depending on if you've got the uh, um, the orb collection health regen things unlocked in the, in the potential system, almost every unit can be doing small amounts of healing as well as Buhan doing massive amounts of healing. And the thing is with Buhan, if you want him to do a lot of damage, he has to collect orbs. That's like the only way you can do it. If you want him to do big, like big amounts of damage, sort of close to 100,000, he sort of has to collect a large amount of orbs. Um, which is weird to be saying that it's a bad thing. It's it's really weird for that. Um, but I've not even got the got, I've not even got the big bastards. The big bastards, um, or the big bastards, I could say. No, uh, the big bad bosses link. I didn't even have active right now, so I don't really run the risk of. Oh, what if I heal too much? You know, I'd rather get good damage with uh, with Buhan, especially when he can crit like that. That's pretty cool. Um, I do notice that. I think his crit chance might be. It might be eleven, maybe. But regardless, like, my Buhan at least, he crits all the time. He literally, he doesn't additional attack very much, but he crits all the time, which is great for me. Like, it, it just, uh, I say great for me, but it's great for everyone. Like, it, it's great that he would crit. Um, if you've got a Buhan, hopefully yours crits too. A lot at least. Um, but he does, he does some crazy damage. And when you, you know, you stack up all the damage he's doing from collecting orbs, does some crazy, crazy damage. <clears throat> um... I'm pretty sure that I know Rose at least can finish him right here. I don't know how much damage the Masu is going to do. There you go. So again, he crits are the way forward in this, obviously. But you just saw that was what 1.9 million, I think, damage. Obviously, it was a crit. If he wasn't a crit, he probably would have done around a million, if not just a bit below. But regardless, he does so much damage, and Rose would have done even more potentially, even without getting a crit. So uh, that just shows you the power of, uh, of these guys on this team. Um, but again, don't forget, part of their increased damage is due to um, the way this event works, basically. They're going to do increased damage because um, that's what they do in this event. That's literally one of the things you can use against Trunks. But uh, regardless, they do crazy, crazy good damage. So, uh, so yeah. 
as you saw, I keep, I keep, I, I like, I keep saying they do crazy damage, they do crazy damage. But actually, you're watching this. What is it like right there? You're, you're watching it. So, um, so you know they're doing good damage. <clears throat> And of course, we come back to having these guys on the field. So this is one of those times, like I said before, that I'll have, um, like you can see, I've got Broly and Rose linking for that increased 10% damage. Now for Broly, that doesn't really make too, too much of a difference for obvious reasons, but um, for Goku Black, it can, you know, he's doing a lot of damage. And they've also got the big bad bosses link uh, working, so they're going to do that increased 25% damage as well. So let's see how much damage Zamasu can do. So they, look, it's still a million, still a million. Um, and against this one guy, it's taken him down to like the the lower end of his sort of last health bar. And there's Rose critting for 2.2 million. That's pretty crazy. Um, I wish I could be proud enough to say that it's my own Rose. Of course it's not. I don't even have one yet. And I'm really, really hoping I pull one on the Super Saiyan 4. Uh, Vegeta banner because that well that's what he returned on um, on JP they could swap it up obviously um, I think I might have mentioned that before they could easily swap it up like they did with Vegeta and Cell swapping you know swapping their two Doken fests around excuse me um, but uh, fingers crossed they don't because I think I actually want Vegeta more than I want Goku in terms of their Super Saiyan fours. Um, I just, I prefer the AGL team, obviously the STR team, I can't believe I'm right now, oh, is it, oh it's Shemron, I thought it was Golden Freezer I was getting this token uh, attack with, I would have been upset, because Golden Freezer doesn't really, he's got the plus 70% on his um, on his damage from his passive, oh his attack, sorry, um, but he just doesn't really ever hit that hard, so it's, uh, I'd rather have like, someone like Omega Shenron get it, and of course he finished him off there. Um, would have been nice to have Zamasu or uh, or Goku Black finish him off there, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. <clears throat> what was I saying before? Um, yeah, of course they could swap they could swap him out, but if everything stays right for the Super Saiyan 4 banners, I believe Super Saiyan 4 Goku's banner had um, how much time we got? I'm just thinking. Uh, I was going to do another Doku Fest, but we don't really have enough time for that. I was just going to briefly explain about the Super Saiyan 4 banners. Basically, Goku's one has... Um, uh, I could probably put this on screen right now, actually, so you guys can see instead of just seeing this blank screen. Basically, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's banner, um, sort of the main guys that were on it, I believe, was the regular Goku Black and Super Vegito. I believe it was Super Vegito, yeah. Um... Uh, as well as other characters like um, there's a couple of other Gokus on that I think maybe Super Saiyan 3 Goku like the AGL one I think he was oh maybe uh, maybe not I don't really pay too much attention to it because like I said I didn't really summon on that banner it was mainly Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta I summoned on and um, and that banner has um, I believe actually it has it's got Super Baby 2 on there but I think that's because he dokens with Vegeta's event, so your Super Baby 2, although he's not really like a prize unit, and I've, I've already got him, so I'm not too worried about that, but you've got Rose on there, and you've also got um, uh, Vegito Blue, I believe is on there, they're like looking at each other like they were in their promotional bits and everything for the game, but yeah, they're, they're like looking, I think, I think so, I might have to double check that, if I'm talking about all this and actually you're seeing something else on screen, uh, I'm going to look a bit stupid, but I think that's what it was, if not, I'll correct it and you'll see it on screen, but um, I think that's what it was. There's a couple of other units on each one, but basically they're like the main units to go for if you don't have them already. Um, and I just, if I can pull Rose, then on a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team, that would be sick. Um, because of course, I, you know, I've got my Super Vegito, of which I'd like more dupes for. Um, I've got him to like SA10, and he's got some crits and additionals and stuff, things like that. Uh, and he just works so well on the, the plus 120% lead uh, team, of which the leader is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He just works so well on that team, and, and there's so much defense on that team, um, like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. When you doken him, he, he's crazy good. Uh, once he performs a super attack, he becomes a tank. 
So uh, there's loads of really cool, interesting things to come once the 120% leads start dropping on Doken, basically. And that should happen. That happens around, well, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Goku. They drop for the. Um, to, not the table. Uh, for the two year anniversary. And that should be. Should, I think it's early July. Um, it should be. There's probably going to be like announcements and things in the running up to that point. Um, but that should be what it is. And and then after that, the next one they did on JP was Final Form Cooler. And I'm looking forward to Final Form Cooler so much. I, I just I love his team. Uh, his passive gives him, I think, a chance to do additional an, an additional attack of which can be a super attack. So it's sort of like uh, Vegito Blue's passive. But also he gets, I think it's plus... It's either plus 80 or 100% on his attack and defense. I think it's plus 80%. Maybe that's before you dope him. I can't remember exactly. But he just becomes so good at doing damage. Uh, because he, I think he greatly lowers... He either greatly or just lowers defense with his super attack as well. So that's that's okay. Um, but he he's like a great tank pretty much all the time. As well as doing great damage. And his team just is really interesting. Um, but that's probably enough waffling from me I, I always say that i'm waffling i pretty much am i'm just going on about stuff but that's basically enough for me about all this um hopefully i've been smart enough and kind enough to you to put some pictures and images and things of the banners up on the screen so you can see them instead of just looking at this doken screen which really hasn't done anything for the past like what five minutes well, not five minutes but past couple of minutes basically but anyway um i don't know what the next video will be on um, just like I didn't know in the previous video what this video would be on, but we'll work something out. Uh, we should be coming closer and closer to Perfect Cell coming out. Um, there's also a maintenance announced for tonight, so we'll have to see about see what that's about. Maybe I'll do a video tomorrow covering that. It won't come out for like another two days, I think. But um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens basically. So uh, so th thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.